Meets Faith TV. The Lord's my shepherd, I shall not want He maketh me to lie down in green pastures He leadeth me beside still waters He restoreth my soul He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness For His name's sake The shadow of death I'll fear no evil For thou art with me Thy rod and thy staff They comfort me, oh yes Thou preparest me a table In the presence of my enemy Anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. All the days of my life, all the days of my life, and I will dwell. Of the Lord, my God, forever and ever. Thank you, my Lord, Thank you, my Lord. for being my shepherd. Joseph and Mary with baby Jesus in Mary's womb. The time has come for Christ to be born. Go tell it on the mountain. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Shepherds kept their watching Oh, silent flocks by night Behold, throughout the heavens There shone a holy light Go tell it on the mountain Over the hills and everywhere Go tell it on the mountain That Jesus Christ is born Jesus Christ is born 
We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you and your kin. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Great Christ is born. God shows his love for us in that while we are still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5.8 16:14 Greater love has no one than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. John 15:13 
Jesus, you are my sunshine. Thank you for your love for me. Forsake me when I'm in trouble Please don't take my sunshine away You are my sunshine, my only sunshine You make me happy when skies are gray I'll never know, Lord, how much you love me Please don't take my sunshine away Sunshine away, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. I'll never know, Lord, how much you love me. Please don't take my sunshine away. Please don't take my sunshine away. Please don't take my sunshine away. Thank you, Jesus. the world who made the world the creation have you wondered how the world and man came into being the Bible says in Genesis in the beginning there was nothing in the world except God and that it was God who by word of his mouth created everything in the world. God made the world. Yes, he made the world. Almighty God made the world. Almighty God made the world. God made the world. Yes, he made the world. Almighty God made the world. Imagine an empty world with nothing except the Spirit of God. It was darkness until God said, let there be light. And right then, just like that, there was light. And God made day and night with the light. And it was the very first day. King of kings, he made the world. King of kings, he made the world. On the second day, God made the earth and created a blue sky. And God liked it. of kings he made the world almighty god he made the world the third day god organized the earth and put all the water in one place and all dry lands in another he made plants and trees and god saw that these were good and looking great god made the world yes he made the world almighty god made the world yes he made the world the fourth day, God made the sun to light the sky during the day, and the moon and stars to add sparkle to the night. He took the sun and the moon and hung them in the sky, just like that. And he loved it so far, but God was not done. God made the world. Yes, he made the world. Almighty God made the world. Yes, he made the world. The fifth day, God put life in the waters and the ocean. And with millions of small fish in shallow waters and large sea creatures in the ocean. He also made the birds to fly and soar in the sky. And God was loving it all. King of kings, he made the world. He made the world. On the sixth day, God created the creatures of the land. All the animals, big and small. Imagine the elephant and lion and the ducks, and sheep, and dogs. And these animals were happy, and so was God, loving everything He has made. Yet God was not done. King of kings, He made the world. Almighty God, He made the world. God then made man in His own image. 
and for man to take care of everything he has created. On the seventh day, God rested. Such a wonderful creator. Who made the world? King of kings, he made the world. King of kings, he made the world. God made the world. Who made the world? King of kings, he made the world. Almighty God, he made the world. God made the world. Psalm 23 Psalm 23 offers a good meditation about God's love for His creation and the way we can also pray to Him. How wonderful to share and meditate on the meaning of Psalm 23. Do you know I am like a sheep? How, you may ask. But yes, a happy sheep. And as we know, a sheep needs a shepherd. Can you imagine yourself as a sheep? And who is your shepherd? My shepherd is God Almighty. Now, just imagine for a moment that you are a sheep and God your shepherd. And I am not the first person to consider God as my shepherd. King David wrote Psalm 23 and it is about God being his shepherd. Who is a shepherd? A shepherd cares for his sheep. Sheep depend on the shepherd for everything. Food, shelter, and safety. That is the same way we should rely on God in prayer. For everything we need. Because God can meet all our needs. Without God, we are not going to make it. The most important responsibility of the shepherd is to lead the sheep to food, which is in green pastures. Also, sheep need water. And the shepherds make sure that there were streams or clean water for their sheep to drink. You know, sometimes the sheep may wander away from the flock. You can be sure that the shepherd will leave everything and go in search of the lost sheep. That is why God sent Jesus. Also, if the sheep is in danger, the shepherd will protect the sheep. 
if the sheep fell between rocks or drowning or in trouble, the shepherd will rescue the sheep to safety. When we call on God in prayer, we should trust that he will answer. As we are growing up, God gave us parents to take care of us and provide for us. But do you know that parents rely on God to provide them with health, job, and blessings so they can give their children what they need? God the Shepherd makes sure that his sheep has everything he needs, including peace and rest. Even when there's rough times, God is there. Psalm 23 says, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. It continues. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness. For his name's sake. What a wonderful God. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. When my soul is restless, when I feel anxious, God will restore my soul. When I feel like I do not have enough and that other people have more than I have, God my shepherd will show me that he has made my cup overflow and prepared a banquet for me. I believe that surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And you too, yes, you. Because God is your shepherd. God loves you. Whenever you are in doubt, pray Psalm 23 with faith. And may His grace be sufficient to you. Amen. Hi, Kids Faith TV creates Christian songs and animated videos about Jesus and the Almighty God. Click the subscribe button and be the first to know when we publish new videos. I hope you enjoy our videos. Click the like and share our videos. Thank you for your support.